Just to let you guys know, I do not believe the fact that Whitebeard has a real son named uh, Edward Whitby, alright? I just don't believe that fact, alright? That's just my opinion, alright? Hello, people, and you still the anime dolphin, and today for you all, I'm here to review chapter 802 of One Piece. Now, this is pretty late, so I'm gonna make this review as short as possible, alright? I'm not gonna make it too long like I did for my last review, alright? This is just plain and short, alright? So, um... My thoughts on this chapter was really surprising. I mean, not only we we got to see uh, Zoe, but we also managed to re see, uh, or at least re got information of who the Seven Shinja Bakai is, which happens to be uh, the son of Whitebeard named Edward Whitby, or better to be known as Whitebeard Jr. Now, I just don't believe the fact. I, I just don't believe it. I mean, we saw... Um, we saw, um, look, we saw Whitebeard's crew. I mean, even though they're not really, uh, his, his, uh, sons, I do believe that they were a actually his sons. I mean, look, you gotta admit, they were like sons to him, and a true family. And this guy, well, I just don't see it. I mean, even though he does have the same, uh, figure as Whitebeard, and also the mustache, and also his staff, have. And not to admit, I have to admit, he is pretty strong as he did manage to kill off uh, former subordinates of Whitebeard. I don't really know much of uh, who they were because it's been a while since I read Marine Fort, alright? So yeah, this guy's pretty tough. And not to, not to mention the fact that we saw uh, his, uh, his mom named Miss Benke who happens to be uh, Whitebeard's lover, or at least used to. I mean, how could this little person, or at least this... This this woman, this woman be able to uh, do it with Whitebeard. I just don't know how is that possible. And another thing is, they're not out for revenge for what happened to Whitebeard. They're just in it for the money. Yeah. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong on this fact, so leave your comments if I mistake in that one. All right. Although, what? So their next target is um, facing. A, is uh, finding Marco, all right? Because that's where their next target is. Although when, but then when they stumble upon a newspaper, at least uh, they got from a seagull, uh, newspaper seagull. That's how I like to call it. Uh, where they, when it was revealed that they discovered that um, that Don Flamingo was defeated by uh, Luffy. So they're gonna find Luffy and be this and be out information on him of where Marco is, which is doubtful because we don't know uh, where Marco is right now. And heck, we don't. And heck, Luffy doesn't even know what what happened to him and the rest of the Whitebeard pirates. All right, so we'll just see. Speaking of Luffy, I haven't talked much about him in this chapter, haven't I? Now this was pretty funny in my opinion, seeing the Straw Hats traveling with the Barto Club. I mean, this was really hilarious to see. I mean, they had to survive a hailstorm, sur survive against a Sea King, uh, almost falling to their deaths, and so on. It was just really entertaining to see this. All right. <laughs> Although another thing I like to. Uh, that got me more attention is seeing the island of Zo. So yeah, after spending spending two years reading the manga chapters of Dress Rosa, or at least I started reading uh, the chapters last year, and that's my opinion. That, that's how I started well, like in One Piece. Um, the we the fact that we're in a new arc is is really refreshing now because now we're starting a new island that. That is no longer just Rosa, but now to Zo, which is which is, happens to be on top of a giant elephant that has been living for a thousand years. Now, how and Law described this island is a tr that it belongs to a tribe called the Minks. Now, I really don't know what a mink is, but I, for what people can assume, that it could be a tribe of animal hybrids. You know, the ones that can uh, walk and talk like a human. At least that's how I think. All right. So, yeah. Nah. And this is going to be pretty interesting because I believe in the next chapter, this is where we're going to see Sanji and the others again. And possibly see the Heart Pirates again. I mean, it's been so long since we saw Law's crew since uh, Shimbali, or at least two years, two years in One Piece uh, years. So, yeah, we're probably going to see them again. And But wait, do they know about the alliance they that Law formed with Luffy? Well, since it's only been a week. That's right. It's been a week since um, they took. It took a week 
from from getting off the Drizzrosa and all the way to Zoe. Since this is an island that it's not really, it's really hard to track and using a lot poles to use it to track it down. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I read this information right now. It says Zoe cannot be tracked by a lot poles as it's not natural. Is not a natural island with a ma magnetic field and is always on the move, making it hard to find. Or at least that's how I find this information. So yeah. So uh, that's basically it. So what you thought about this chapter? Did you like uh, the Straw Hats Avengers with Bartol Club? I mean, it's really a funny. And also, what's interesting? Also, I forgot to mention um, the Bartol Club was originally supposed to be was originally a street game. Well, it's kind of obvious since since Bartol did since we saw a flashback that he used to be um, a gangster. Yeah, we we kind of assume that, so it's not that surprising. And uh, the fact that they don't have a navigator and they often uh, call Gamian's grandmother for her advice, that was hilarious. It might be, that was just too funny. And what are your thoughts about the new, sh about the seven Shinshu Bukai? Do you believe that he's actually Wiper's son? Because I don't think so. So we'll just have to say, see and find out. I mean, and what are your thoughts about Zoe? Did it surprise you, or did you not expect that to happen? Because I did not expect an island like that to be a giant elephant. I did not see it coming, alright? So, that's basically it. Look, the fact that last last chapter surprised me with Sanji's wanted poster being only only need him alive, and now this chapter surprised me about revealing that the Seven Shinja Bukai happens to be Whitebeard's son. I mean, what is next uh, on the surprise me list? I mean, what? If we get to see Jinbei saving, uh, saving Monet from Pocket Hazard? Or perhaps seeing Sugar, yeah, the little girl from uh, the Don't Take Healthy family, stow away on Bartle's ship and going revenge on the Straw Hats? Nope. No, no, no. That is so doubtful. Because for one, Jinbei is, uh, is on is on is uh, is uh, having his own adventures with, uh, with the giant fish named giant fishman named uh, Wanasama, I think, yeah, we met him back in Fishman Island, with the Poneglyph, so probably he's gonna find Lu he's, uh, find Luffy, or at least that's what we think, and uh, Monette, she is dead, alright, we, the heart has been stabbed, there is no way she's, she's alive, okay, maybe she's alive, well, maybe we'll see, but again, and plus Sugar, she is no, she is in prison right now, or at least that's how I assume. So yeah, that's basically it. Like the video if you like it, or dislike it if you didn't like what I said. And please make sure to comment and subscribe for, for uh, in this channel. And please leave your comments down below if there's any details or any uh, mistakes I made in this video. And please um, mistake me if I'm wrong, so I may correct that in my next video. Alright, so thank you, and good night.